Hey everybody, my name is Jeff and I was once very unhappy and 327 pounds. Yeah, that's me right there. But you know what? I changed my life. I'm now 210 pounds. It's been six months since I lost the weight, but these videos start off with me 327 pounds and showing you what I did to lose the weight. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Pump It Up, and I guess I should say guys and gals, because I'm sure there's probably one or two chickadoos out there. Um, yesterday I was talking about uh, recovering from a cheat day and my ketosis already kicking back in, and actually it was not, it was going down. You know, I find today it was going down. So today it's actually lower um, than 1.4. I got a 0.9. So it's, which is really weird. You would think Saturday was my cheat day. So Sunday, Monday, boom. It's like the blood levels are lowering, lowering, lowering. Now, I don't know. I'm, I'm as confused as you are of why it would take two days for my blood levels to lower. Um, and we'll see exactly when it, things start going up again. You know, you, you, you learn by trial and error. And I was wrong yesterday. I was not back in ketosis. I was slowly going down. Until I took more readings, I really didn't know. So I wanted to be totally upfront and honest about it that um, that I had made a mistake in yesterday's video. So I hope you guys can forgive me, and if not, go fuck yourselves and go find another channel to fucking torment. <laughs> Alright, so I did a bicep workout today, did my 30 minutes of cardio and my bicep workout. Worked out pretty good, had a good good bicep workout um wasn't like super pumped or anything like that you know what i mean with a keto diet you don't really even get super pumped a couple days after your uh, cheat day you're already flat so i wouldn't I, plus i work out all covered up because like if you're fat you really want to like work out in a tank top no no one wants to see your man boobs okay no Moo, no. So, yeah, no, I'm always wearing, like, I even wear hoodies and shit like that because it's like, it's not time for me to show anything. Um, sometimes I might, like, try to look through my sleeve or like this, you know, while I, <laughs> you know, but I don't want to, I, yeah, so you get the drift. There's no bod to be watching, so, yeah. So, tomorrow will be triceps day, which is cool, after work. Um, I'm fasted right now, pretty much. Um, I mean, the only way I could get more fasted is taking the butter out of my coffee in the mornings. I don't know if I should do that. I did have a branch chain amino acid drink. Um on the way home from training I usually mix one up there at the gym um, you know that's 20 to 30 calories I put that in my uh, fitness pal my keto scripted fitness pal and um, if you don't know what that is look for the video that talks about my fitness pal keto that I did yeah so all right so good short video today not a whole lot to tell you obviously after a cheat day I'm not gonna weigh in for like three four days and um, so there's no point in that but I did want to make a video like I do every day and tell you 
tell you what I could tell you. I mean, I worked, got off a little bit early for work because there was rainstorms in Detroit. Went to the gym, did biceps. Well, I did my half an hour of cardio, did biceps. Um, everything went well. Came home, did uh, my reading's been the weird part is didn't get a low reading till today, midday at the point nine, you know. So really weird. Really weird. Maybe I'll have to start like doing a, a day after full fast. Oh. This is trial and error. You can only get better with time. I don't know. Sometimes I quite, you know what I mean? What, just when you think you've got it all figured out, you go, wait a minute, that worked before. What's what's different here? What's wrong? Did I eat too many carbs? Did I... Did I eat too much... Oh, that's another thing I thought about. Did I eat too much fats with my carbs so that my body would eat those fats because I was already in ketosis stalling back to when the carbs were used or does it automatically go in carbs first now I, I don't know that you can say that it automatically does I've heard people say that but then it wouldn't then it would explain why I would go out of ketosis because 150 carbs realistically um, I go on the Stairmaster and I did an hour of cardio the next day so that's like 200 calories right there and then there's a sleep and yeah to me it doesn't seem like if it uses the carbs first if it does use the carbs first which everybody says it does I know everybody says it does don't fucking think I'm stupid as to what people say but if that's true and the carbs go in front of your fats then why wouldn't those carbs be instantly burned you know what I mean at 120 calories or 150 calories burned pushed out and then you start ketosis again well, um, you know, burning your, your fats and your ketones. Why wouldn't you? Hmm. 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 I'm sure somebody's got a very logical reason as to why I am stumped on this. And it's not hard to stump me, I guess. But um, it is quite possible that there's something that I'm missing totally in this. But uh, either way, that's that's the situation I am. I got a 0.9 on my blood reading for ketones. So I am working my way back into ketosis, I guess. All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have better news. Maybe I'll take a ketone reading again or something. All right, guys. Get out there and do something because, well... Either that or don't eat nothing. You either don't eat nothing or go do something. And if you're going to plan on going and doing something and still eating something, then go do a lot of stuff and don't eat very much. <laughs> All right. I'm messing with you. Have a good night.